Hi boys and girls, we are on lesson 16-1. Um, we are classifying triangles and um, I'm going to keep this little cheat sheet out because it's a really good um, way to remember that we can either classify triangles by their sides as equilateral, all three the same, isosceles two the same, or scaling only none the same, um, or they can be classified by their angles, right, acute, or obtuse. One right angle, three acute angles, one obtuse angle. And then they can also be two of these. So it could be like a right scaling triangle. I'm, I'm sorry, right isosceles triangle or right scaling triangle or an acute equilateral triangle. You can you can use both to describe each one. And if you're hearing some noises in the room that I am, that is the puppy. So what it wants us to do here is it wants us to classify these triangles. And if we were doing this at school, I would actually ask you to classify this and give me the sides and the angles. So we're gonna do that for all of, for three through 10 here. So this one, we can see it has 60, 60, 60, which remember I told you over here that if it has 60, 60, 60, that has to be an equilateral triangle. So that is an equilateral triangle. Equa meaning equal and lateral meaning <coughs> side. And then this is also an acute triangle. So it's an equilateral acute triangle as all equilateral triangles are. This one looks like we have a seven and a seven. So that's gonna make it isosceles. C-E, oh, isosceles is a hard word to spell. And then I see this angle here, which means it has to be a right triangle. Moving on, we have, um, two six inches, so has to be isosceles. Um, and then for the sides, and then for the angles, it looks like we've got a 30, a 75, and a 75. Those are all under 90, which makes them all acute. Uh, for this one, I've got three sides. None of them are the same length, so that's gonna be scalene. And then I've got one right, and if there's one right, that makes it a right triangle. Here we have, again, this is going to be equilateral acute. We've got all the same sides and all the same angles. So this is going to be equilateral triangle, sides the same length, and they're all under 90, which means they're all going to be acute. For this one, we've got one obtuse angle. So I'm going to go ahead and write down that I know that that's going to be obtuse. And for my sides, uh, 9.2 for both of them. So we're going to go isosceles. I always remember that isosceles is two angles because of the two S's or two sides. You can remember it however you want. Six, 10, and eight, that's going to be scaling. None the same there. And then my right triangle right here because I've got my right angle. Two sides the same length. That is going to be isosceles. Boy, they really like isosceles on here. Um, and then when I'm looking at my angles, I can tell this is definitely an acute angle. This is an acute angle and this is an acute angle. So that is going to be an acute triangle. So that is some more in-depth instruction. That's some more extra practice for classifying triangles.